One of my favorite quotes from Warren Buffett is that it's not important how hard you row, but what boat you are in, right? And that could not be further from to be special with YouTube automation, guys. Choosing your niche, it's one of the pillars, one of the most important stuff, especially when starting out, that's gonna, that can make it or break. Like it's gonna take whether you're gonna be successful or whether you're not gonna be successful, this can be a big piece of the pie. So uh, this is gonna be, again, uh, a little bit of a raw video. I just have a couple notes here on my phone and we're just gonna go through them. But basically, the first thing, guys, that I look when starting a YouTube automation channel, again, this might apply for, for normal channels. If you're a creator, this might be helpful for two, but I'm speaking specifically to uh, my people who are doing YouTube automation here. And again, I tell this to my students all the time, guys. The first criteria is, can we make $10,000 per month, right? So if you're doing this for to generate the source of income, to, to be in it for the passive income stream, or do you have any different goal, like you want to make 5,000 a month or 10,000 a month or 1 million a year, or I don't know, you want to, I don't know, any, any type of number specific goals, you want to ask the number first, right? So can we make $10,000 a month? And the reason why we ask that is because we want to make sure that there's enough market, there's enough uh, market share out there for us. There are enough basically people interested in that niche for us to be able to go take a small piece of the pie and still hit our goal, which is again, in this case, $10,000. Hope that makes sense. Let me let me elaborate on it so you can understand it, guys, right? Let me give you two super, super easy examples. Let's say crypto, right? You are super passionate about crypto. You want to start a crypto channel because again, you see everybody doing it. The first question uh, would be, hey, can we make $10,000 per month with the crypto channel in the YouTube automation space? The answer is clearly yes. There are a lot of people interested in crypto. Crypto is on everybody's lips right now. And again, there are a lot of creators we have proven that and they are making much more than $10,000 a month, especially with what's going right now with NFTs, Metaverse and all those projects, paints, influencers and cash cow channels, hundreds of thousands of dollars probably to promote uh, their NFTs. I think $10,000 per month is easily, easily to achieve in the niche of crypto, right? On the other side, if we want to talk about old vintage fishing rods, right? Let's say vintage fishing rods, we might have a problem because I know you love fishing. I love fishing. My dad, your uncle, your grandma, whatever, they love fishing. But when going on YouTube, people don't really want to watch people fishing. And if they do, they don't want to watch a voice or a documentary type about vintage fishing rods. They would rather watch a fisherman go fish, right? So again, for YouTube automation, the issue of fishing would not really be a good one because I don't believe that there's enough market and enough market share for us to go take our $10,000 per month easily and uh, and go home, right? So again, this is pretty much the main criteria that we have if you wanna if you wanna make this to, to create another source of income for you. The second one is that, okay, great, we can make $10,000 per month, that's beautiful, that's amazing, but can we make that, can we stay relevant and can we make that type of money for three to five years, right? Because I cannot tell you guys, I cannot say this enough, uh, I've been, it's dozens of times where I started a channel, it worked for one month, two months, three months, hell, maybe even six months, and then after that, something happens either the game like fortnite was not was not so big anymore so there were only the big guys survive or i know the channel lost monetization for some reason where we're doing something that was not really on point with the youtube algorithm so you want to do your homework very very well and you want to be sure that the thing we're going the game that we're playing is is going to be there and is relevant it's big enough for you to be able to make that type of money or to stay relevant in the niche and maybe practice the thing for three to five years right so yeah guys i think this is this is again this is self-explanatory you want to make sure that the game that we're playing it's going to be uh there for uh, for as long as possible for as long as you need it to be there right uh and again i've seen this with the majority of my business i can give you my example for example the majority of my businesses were actually side hustles that i was trying to do and i was trying to become a millionaire off of side hustles which i'm not saying it's it's impossible but it was super super hard for me guys right instead when i found an actual business that was again had the structure had a long-term vision there were a lot of players doing it that has has been able to help me reach my goal and facilitate the goal to success but basically again if you're basically trying to i know flip couches as i've seen it's a trend with flipping houses right now if you're trying to flip couches and make one million a month i would say that's pretty much impossible but instead if you want to go into the world of crypto and you want to make sure that you are able to make one million a month not only that you'll be able to make that million a month crypto gives you that possibility but also i i'm tr i'm again i'm a true believer that you could make that type of money with crypto one million a month for as long as three to five years we're sleeping couches who knows maybe something uh something just go off and then we just live in the metaverse so then people are not gonna leave uh people are not gonna sit on couches anymore right hope that makes sense guys again this is unscripted this is raw but i actually love this format much more let's go to the next one and then this is a third kind of bonus one is again with youtube automation this might not apply to all cases but 
are you passionate about what you want to do, right? Uh, I'll make a video soon on my own case, on my own scenario about YouTube video and all the stuff. You can see I invested a lot of money into new equipment and again, a lot of time because I'm truly, truly passionate. I really want to do this, but I'll take a different venture. But yeah, guys, so again, let's let's do a quick recap before we go into this. First, can we make $10,000 per month? Okay, that's fine. Great. Can we make $10,000 per month for three to five years? Great. That's great. Most people, for most people, that's enough. So if you have those, if you have a niche that fits in those, that's great. But let me tell you what's even better. If you have those, and then you also pick something that you have a little bit interest, you have a little bit spark out there. It doesn't have to be your life purpose or the only thing that you talk for the rest of your life. You can be cars. Let's say you are a man and you like cars, you're into cars, or you are a girl and you are purses, I don't know, Birkin bags, right? You can make a channel about that. And basically, the more you know, the more you bring to the table from your own personal experience, the bigger the competitional advantage you'll be able to create. Because let's say this, let's say you're you are good right now and you are into Hermes uh Birkin bags and then we both started chilling to the same niche like into luxury bags right you as a woman where you have a collection you watch the newsletters you watch all the celebs yes we might be able to hire the same people we might be able to post the same content by you by being passionate by being knowing more basically bringing more to the table than i do you'll be able to to win in the long term right so again being passionate is just as a bonus most people don't really need that i have channels where again i started them initially I, I had no clue about the kind I didn't really like them. They made me a lot of money because they made me a lot of money. I started to enjoy and I started to document myself more. I started to read more. I started to do more research. But again, it's only after I've been able to be successful because it was a good opportunity. I've been able to capitalize on it. And then again, I got the patient. Uh, I got the I got the passion afterwards. Right. So that's completely fine as well. But just wanted to put this in here now. Another important one, if you're doing YouTube automation and you are not planning to do the kind of yourself, it's you, you need to ask yourself. How easy is it going to be to find a team of freelancers, experienced people to do the content on my behalf? And let me give you the perfect example here. It's Metaverse. A lot of people, especially in my program, they're asking me, hey, Ross, what do you think about Metaverse? Should we start a Metaverse channel? Should we do this? Should we do that? My, my question, my answer, sorry, my answer is that, yes, a Metaverse channel will be amazing because the niche is untapped, meaning there are not a lot of people doing it. And I think there's a lot of meat on the bone. But the problem is, which is, again, the answer to why a lot of people are not doing it, it's because it's super, super hard. Being being so new, being so new to the market, basically, being so recent there's and being so complex, like it's not an easy thing. You walk to the store, you buy something, you get out. Um, being a complex thing, there's a lot of research that needs to go. There's a lot of understanding that you need to have. Or, again, you can either do that yourself or you need to find a team of three to four people who kind of have to have that understanding. And, again, being so new, you won't be able to find those people, right? So being, again, metaverse, it's very, very hard to find people for it. On the other side, I know, let's say about celebs, if you want to start chilling in the celebrity niche, pretty much every knows celeb. Like I know Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and I I'm, I don't have TikTok, I don't have Instagram anymore. I'm not following those people, but I know them because again, it's it's a common thing to know them, right? So again, finding people for metaverse can build to finding people, finding a team for celebrity is going to be much, much easier for celebrity. So this is also a factor that you need to account. Hey, how much time and how much money, how much resources am I going to spend finding a team? And then again, I would definitely, uh, I'll definitely recommend you go with something that first matches your goal, but it's also comfortable for you, right? Now, the last thing and probably the most important guys where I see a lot of people playing their own game is we need to ask ourselves, okay, what's the likelihood of us achieving this goal? What's the likelihood of us having success in this niche, right? And I'm gonna, again, again, I'm gonna give you a personal example because one great thing about me doing this business, again, teaching other people is that I can give myself as an example every time and this works super, super well. So let me give you this. One of my biggest passions is, uh, actually my, my life purpose, I would say at this moment, it's business. So I'm 100% I'm sure that I'll do businesses one way or another for the rest of my life. So then imagine me being able to do a channel, a YouTube channel, a YouTube automation, YouTube cash cow channel around the business. It's going to be an amazing one. But I'm not starting one because I truly believe that likelihood of achieving uh, the goal that I want that would have for that business channel, it's going to be low. Let me explain. Uh, there are some channels I have my nerd pop them up on the screen right now. One, it's called Hook. And the other one, it's called The Company Man or Company Man. And what those channels basically do, they break down the history of companies, right? And it's basically like reading a reading a biography of a company and seeing how it's been fought, how it's been, uh, yeah, how it's been created, how it's been funded, how it's growing, what what's the obstacles that they faced, what's the backstory of the founder, and I I truly find that fascinating, right? I love reading biographies, I love seeing success stories and all the stuff again because I'm super super passionate about business. But I look at those channels, I love watching them. But when I when I look and I see the quality, and I know again being in the game myself, I know that first. It's going to be very hard for me to find talented people to compete with those people because they're already putting out an amazing job. So it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of resources. And then second, they already have a backlog of videos. They already have an established tutorial. So it's going to take me 
I would say at least a year to kind of step in and say and put my name on the leaderboard and say, hey, yeah, so we're playing the same game now again. And I'm just simply not willing to take one year to dedicate that much time, that much resources to kind of get to the end result, right? Again, I would love to have that channel, but I'm just not willing to put in the time, the resources, the money, the effort to have that. So then the likelihood of achieving that in three months, let's say, were on my own terms, I would love to have that tomorrow. Everybody would love to have that tomorrow. But again, let's say I would love to have a channel like that in three months with low effort and low money and low implication. That's not possible. So then for me, for that idea, the likelihood of achieving that is super, super low. So then you also have to factor this in. Like, let's say you want to build in, in your case scenario, you want to be the next Tony Robbins. I, I also speak with this in my other videos. If you want to be the next Tony Robbins, you have to be able to dedicate your entire life to that only one mission. If you do it part-time, if you have a job or yeah, in the beginning, you might have a job, but then be aware that sooner or later, you are going to be able to give 110% and you might be able, like you should be able at that moment to, to do the trade off, right? To leave what you have right now, to give up the good for the bad, if you want to win like Tony Robbins is winning, right? So again, the likelihood of achieving this is the last thing on my list, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Cheers.